Hey guys, it's Claire. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Allure Beauty Box, June 2020. I know what you're thinking. Claire, that's so weird. You posted in April 2020 and a June 2020. Where's your May 2020 box? Well, it got lost in shipping and it's on its way. So you'll get that too, even though it is no longer May. <laughs> but that's okay. So let's jump right on in and get started. So I got this in the mail the other day and I opened it right up because I was trying to figure out if it was my May or my June box since I've been dealing with that whole thing. And because I have been going on a skincare journey, I've also used some of the products. And normally I like to do a try on and see what I think, but not today. Today I'm going to, I've tried two of the products and the other products I have not. And so I'll give you my first impressions on the ones I haven't tried and then I will give you my honest opinion on the products that I have tried. So the first product that I have not used is the Star Skin 100% Camellia Nourishing and Brightening Two-Step Oil Sheet Mask. So what you do is you take this oil right here and you apply that all over your face and then you open the sheet mask, put the sheet mask on and then let it sit, do a sheet mask and then the booklet says that you can then use the extra oil as a moisturizer the next morning and i think that's pretty cool this is kind of luxe i think it feels like really if you can see that it's like really thick it's not like a thin sheet mask and it feels like there's a lot of product in here so i like that the star skin sheet mask is ten dollars so that's not too bad for something that seems pretty luxe like this the next product i have not used is this belief True Cream Aqua Balm Aloe Vera Soothing and Hydrating Aloe Complex. So I'm guessing a moisturizer. So according to the booklet, this is just an aloe version of the typical Belief Aqua Balm, which is a very nice moisturizer. I've tried their um, eye cream and I really like it. Um, this isn't a huge sample of product, but it's decent size. I would give this a deluxe size and it smells good. The full size retails for $38, and the full size is 50 milliliters, and this is 10 milliliters. So I think that'll be interesting to try during the summertime and like putting it on your face for that aloe effect. I'm excited to try that um, with my other Belief products too. The next product that I have not used is the Shang Pri Spa Care Systems Gold Black Pearl Eye Mask, and um, it looks like this. And this was one of those options that you would have gotten one or the other. And I got the eye mask, which I didn't really have a preference which one I would have preferred. So I think it's really cool. They're black and you put them under your eyes and they take away puffiness and dry spots and that kind of stuff, which I think is really cool. I always see them all over Instagram. So I really wanted to try some and the full size of those is $60. So they must be pretty good. That's only one pair, but has to be pretty good. So the next item is Dashing Diva Gloss Extra Shine Gel Palette, and it is these nail strips, and this is what the design looks like. Can't really see them with that glare, but that's what the design looks like. They're really cute. I don't know how I feel about these. I have had stick-on nail things before, and I just, I don't know how I feel about them. I feel like they like get caught in my hair, because my hair is kind of ruly, unruly. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about them. The ones that I used the first time that I used them were not this quality. Uh, so I'll try them out, see if I like them, and I can let you guys know in a review. Or if you uh, follow me on Instagram, you, I usually do product reviews on Instagram too, or on Influencer. You can find me there um, and see what I thought about these in the end after using them. Oh, those nail things were $9. So now we're on to products that I have tried. And um, the first product I, I have already tried is the Yensa Super 8 Lip Oil. And it says that this has got like a bunch of nutrients in it. This is what it looks like, which is really pretty hot pink color, which is so not my color. If you can't tell via my complexion, this is not my color. But here's the thing. It's really sheer because it's a lip oil. 
I'm gonna apply it for you guys right here. I do already have a lip oil on, but I'm just gonna put this one on over top of it. So that's what that color looks like. I think it's pretty. I like that it's more sheer and it gives you like this pink, but in a really sheer wash. I think that's really pretty. It smells really good. It smells like watermelon, not like watermelon that you buy and eat, but like synthetic watermelon, but the good synthetic watermelon. It smells good. I like it. Um, the only thing I don't like is I don't like tasting that watermelon on my lips. So um, but I'll still use it. I think it's pretty and it uh, has a good little explanation in the booklet. Um, it says that it has vitamin E, coconut, avocado seed oil. So every time you put it on, you're working your way towards smoother lips in the long run, which I really like. And this retails, this is a full size and it retails at $28. So that's pretty good. I like it. Um, it probably won't be my go-to lip oil, but it is definitely pretty. It's really thin, but that's okay. I don't need goopy all the time. So I like it. The last product that I have today is the Pura Elise Watermelon Charcoal Purifying Cleanser. Looks like this. And this is the box. Really shiny with watermelons on it. It's super pretty. Um, I used this in the shower this morning. This also has the exact same watermelon smell as the lip oil, which I like. It's nice. But I put this on my face and it felt nice on my face, but then I took it off and it really dried my skin out. So it's okay. It does say for all skin types and it's also possible that I might have put too much on because it came out really fast. So I'm gonna keep trying this out. It probably won't be a go-to for me, but this is what my skin looked like after using it today. It does kind of take away some imperfections and my skin looks pretty good, so I don't have any complaints for that. And that Pure Release Cleanser retails at $18, and this is the full size. So all in all, this month we got four full size items, which is really cool. Um, that's one thing that I really like about Allure. It's $15 a month, which is one of the cheapest uh, beauty boxes out there. And you always are guaranteed at least two full size items. And I really like that. I think it it makes it uh, worth your while, really. It's kind of like BoxyCharm, but way less. And you do get some deluxe sizes, like, this is a deluxe size and um, these were a deluxe size because it didn't came, come in the full, but I really think that it's good for your money. Was this month my favorite month? No, um, I was kind of disappointed by the watermelon cleanser. I was kind of disappointed by the nail things. So those kind of disappointed me, but I like the lip oil and I didn't think I would. I'm excited to try the face mask and I'm excited to try the eye mask and I am excited to try the aloe um, aqua bomb. So I think that'll be really fun. It'll be interesting once I get my May box to see what actually came with that. So far, I think I like my April box the best with everything that came with that. If you want to see that, I'm going to link that in the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. It really means a lot to me. Um, if you like what I do, if you like what you see, if you want to see more of it, please, please, please subscribe. Um, please like my video and please leave a comment down below of what you liked, if what you got in your beauty box this month. I really want to build this community and um, get more uh, interactive with you guys. So please go over to my Instagram and leave a comment that you are from YouTube and you saw my videos. Um, feel free to follow me. Feel free to follow me on Super Great for um, reviews there. Feel free to follow me on Influencer for reviews there. And yeah, keep a lookout, you guys. I'm starting new stuff. So thank you so much for watching and be well, you guys. Bye.